What we're looking at today is the BRC AM7 PTZ camera from Sony. It's Sony's latest entry in their higher-end PTZ series that takes the advantages of the advancements seen in their Alpha line of mirrorless cameras. Most notably, it has advanced tracking which could make it a fantastic tool for capturing live events, or could be used as a versatile secondary camera in your multicam setup. Equipped with a 1.0 inch Exmor RS image sensor and approximately 14 million effective pixels, this camera delivers high resolution visuals with remarkably low noise thanks to an oversampled 5K source image. Paired with Sony's latest Bion Z XR image processing image, it excels in subject detection and autofocus performance, which is something that Sony's known for. This PTZ camera features advanced AI auto framing, subject tracking, and a direct pan and tilt drive powered by newly developed motors. The result? Exceptionally smooth and remarkably quiet camera operation. With AI analytics, the AM7 can track subjects with high precision, using multiple data points to recognize an impressive multitude of things including human poses, the positioning of heads and faces, outfit slash clothing, and more. This could be an invaluable feature for capturing things like live events, conferences, stage performances, and really anything where you need reliable autofocus and PTZ functionality. The camera's newly developed lens offers a 20 times optical zoom, equivalent to the 24 to 280 millimeter range, which should cover most common use cases. But if you happen to need even more reach, Sony's advanced clear image zoom can achieve up to 30 times zoom in 4K UHD and up to 40 times zoom in 1080p. Powering the BRC AM7 is easy with options including a standard 4-pin XLR connector or a PoE++ network connector, making it well suited for installations that deliver power from either a network switch or as part of a distributed power setup. If you do decide to use PoE++, you could theoretically power and control the camera through one cable, plus you can receive video signals via NDI HX. Setup is simple. With a user-friendly browser interface, you can control the PTZ camera, set up your starting frame, and then just let the AI auto framing do the rest. And in case you were wondering, you can set up the camera locally, so there's no actual need for an internet connection. We had the camera for a short time and were able to put it through a few tests, but we kept our setup very minimal. We opted to use a 4-pin power connection, because our network switch lacked PoE++, and of course, a laptop, to control the camera. The minimal setup was great, because it gave us more time for testing. It is worth noting that the AM7 does offer a variety of video output options, including HDMI and two 12G SDI options a typical BNC connector, as well as an optical fiber SFP slot. There is also a secondary 3G SDI output for 1080p outputs. Now, while we're talking I.O., the camera also has two XLR inputs and a 3.5mm mic jack with plug-in power, timecode in, and gin lock. Furthermore, there are three RJ45 connectors, two of which are for Visca in and out control, with the third being an option connector. Lastly, there are two dual CF Express Type A and SDXC card slots, allowing you to record internally. Within the Sony interface, you can adjust the frame rate, set color profiles, and customize the camera's framing to match your needs. Thanks to the aforementioned color profiles, the AM7 can match other Sony cameras due to its inclusion of not just the standard ITU709 profiles, but also S-Cinetone and S-Log3, which is pretty nifty. One of the most useful features here, though, is the built-in electronic variable ND filter. It can seamlessly adjust from a quarter to 1 128th ND, and as you can see here, the ND filter adjusts as the camera pans with our roguishly handsome subject. Compensating for the outdoor light dappling through the windows, so, when you're dealing with things like changing stage lights or varying outdoor conditions, the AM7 ensures ideal exposure without having to ride the iris control. The Sony BRC AM7 PTZ camera could be a powerful addition to your camera kit if you work in live production. On its own, it lives up to the PTZ name and can track subjects with speed and accuracy, but also makes for a great secondary or tertiary camera in a multi-cam production. 
Its autofocus performance is top notch, as we've come to expect from Sony, and its one inch sensor provides a sharp, clear image up to 4K at 60 frames per second. If any of that sounds up your alley, head on down to the comments and let us know how you would use the BRC AM7 PTZ camera. I'm Scott with B&H. Keep it fun out there, y'all.